Hello guys, welcome back to the next tutorial. Looks like we have talked a lot about methods, different kind of variable types and positional parameters, optional parameters and the normal arguments. So in this one, let's talk about the scope of the variables that we use inside a method. So let's bring up the PyCharm and when, when we're gonna love this thing with the help of a couple of examples. So a variable inside a method that we define is having a local scope. And what does that mean? This means that it cannot be used outside of the method. So let's say if I define a variable called a here, then which is independent, it's outside of any method, right? And then if I define a method called maybe, let's just call it a test method. I don't know, just let's keep it simple, right? What I can do is I can just pass a, a here, right? It's, it's, it's definitely not this a, right? Because it's gonna be called from somewhere outside. So don't worry about it. And then I can just, let's say, I'm just printing out the value of this. So value of local A is something like that. And we can say A, right? So you can notice the colors, right? These both has orange color. So this is a white color. Basically these two are different because they are inside the method. This is the method definition It's and it's outside. So whatever, argument that we pass into this method when we call this method is gonna come into this a it's not this 10 right so that's what I'm trying to show so now let's change the value of a here to maybe 2 right and then let's again do print uh, new value of local a is and let's print a up here right and when we call it from outside of the class now let's print up here print uh, value of um, i can say something like global a is and then a and then so if you guys know or you have already seen a lot of lectures on methods right so we are not basically uh, calling the method till now it's just the definition and it doesn't mean until we actually explicitly call the method right so we have to call the method to execute this part otherwise these two statements are not going to have any effect right so you can see this in example so let me just run this code uh we get an error here so can't convert this so i have to say str i have to typecast it to string same with these things so let's let's kind of convert it to a string otherwise you're gonna have issues so str and a right so because print statement we have talked about it right print statement is only a string representation so it just shows in string so right now it shows value of global a is 10 right which is this print statement and both of these print statement didn't even execute because we haven't called this test method yet so now let's call this test method test method a and now pass our a variable into it and then again print so what I'm doing here is I'm first calling this print statement which is gonna say value of global a is and a which is taking this value if you guys see that right and the value of this is 10 which we just just saw now I'm calling this method test method and I'm using the same a the same value 10 right and I'm calling this method with the um, parameter or variable a now this a will take the value here and then we're gonna print the value of local a is str a which is gonna be this which is basically I'm passing the same one and then it's gonna assign 2 to a and then I'm gonna print the new value of a is this and then let's say if uh, the value of our global variable which was defined outside the method did it change or not let's see this thing so did the value or uh, value of global a changed change right so let's do this and plus a and let's run the code this time so we should see some interesting results again typecasting sorry guys so alrighty so now what we have here is value of global a is 10 which is this line number 12 print statement and then we call the test method 
and then line number 8 executed value of local a is 10 because we have passed in value 10 here and then already it went away and then it says the new value of local a is 2 which is this we had just assigned 2 to a right which is this and then we finally again print out the value of our global a which we are accessing from outside uh, basically because so basically we are just accessing a if you see we are not telling python that we are accessing from outside or inside so now it says did the value of global a change and it says 10 so basically 10 is still this right because inside the method we just changed the value to 2 and that's what we just saw here right but still the outside a value is 10 what does that mean that even if we change something inside a method it only has a local scope and these things apply only to method so whatever my global variable is it is gonna stay unaffected and it's not gonna change at all so that's what I wanted to talk about that the global variables don't change inside the method and the local variables inside the method they only have the scope of the method these these variables just got disposed or garbage collected as soon as the method ends so we are not accessing any of this a outside of the method when we are accessing the a here it's the global one so that's what i wanted to show you guys uh, so so let's say if i want to change the value of global a what should i do in that case in that scenario so let's comment out this code or maybe just copy first and then comment out and then paste it so we can use it so now if I want to change this a, I want to access this a inside of my method. What I can do is I can use a keyword called global, which is going to tell Python method or Python that whatever a, whatever variable that I'm accessing is a global variable. So just go ahead and look back in the file that if you see a variable called a and it, it is, is it available there? And if it's available there, let's just use the value of that variable. So what we can do is we can just remove the value of a from here we can just get rid of it because we're going to use this global one and what i can do here is something like that that i'm just going to say global and a so now it says that dude just go ahead and use the global variable a for me and then i'm printing the same thing value of local a basically because i'm printing inside the method i'm saying it local but value of a uh I can say something like this to make it more readable inside the method is this and then I'm gonna change a to 2 and value of a again inside the method is changed or I can say changed to this right and then so before calling this method we're gonna call the original global a and then we're going to call the method to change the value and then we're going to see did the value change right so we're going to do the same thing and let's try and run the code so when i run the code it says let's let's examine it so let's pin this code right this window right now so value of global a is 10 which is this first statement which is line 24 which is correct the value of a is 10 and then it went inside the method it says value of a inside the method is 10 that's correct because so take a look closely guys we haven't passed in any value when we call the method we haven't passed in any value so right now because of this global a declaration it's using the global variable global value of a so it says yes value of a inside the method is also 10 it's using the global one and then i change the value of a from 10 to 2 and then i printed out something called new value of a inside the method is changed to 2 yes it did change line number uh, 20 minute change and we're printing on line number 22 and then afterwards after calling this test method I'm trying to see whether the global variables value change so what I'm doing is I'm just again using the same statement did the value of global a change and I'm just call I'm just using this a and it says 2 yes indeed it changed so that means that we can change the value of these global variables as well by using the global keyword so that's pretty much it guys actually that's what i wanted to show you so it might be a little bit confusing guys but don't don't really worry about it because uh, you guys just get used to it when you practice as i always say so i'm just putting these single quotes to make it more readable so you don't see the a as a normal english a it's a variable name 
so that's pretty much it guys so because they we are both we're using a and a in both the places so just comment one code at a time and then run the other and then comment one and run the other or maybe you can just put them in separate files as well to, for you to practice so just download the code guys refer it practice it as much as you can and let me know if you have any questions so stay tuned for the next lectures guys and thanks for attending this one thank you